I'm talking about base load, uh, I wonder if we could have a discussion about what a potential path forward would be. So uh, obviously we are trying to rekindle some interest in uh, fusion energy, I'm sorry, fission energy, uh, but there have been very promising developments in fusion energy, and I know you had a question on this from uh, my co-chair on the fusion caucus, Ms. Trahan. Uh, could you talk about the future you see for fusion and uh, maybe your level of optimism that that could be part of the solution to the problem? So for uh, a couple of decades, there was not much innovation in the material science and other, other areas around fusion. There was a lot of innovation in batteries and wind and solar. Uh, but uh, as of about five or six years ago, um, there was some big jumps in terms of innovation and fusion, in particular around material science that allowed for the magnetic fields to get stronger. Uh, that uh, really makes the possibility of a net out fusion possible. The NIF uh, announcement at Livermore was great, but that was not made to be a power plant that was dealing with the weapons program. So it wasn't made to be a power plant. Uh, but I think that there are a number of fusion companies, including in Southern California, including in Northern California, uh, as well as Massachusetts, that are much farther down the road than even if uh, at, at, at Lawrence Livermore. Uh, I would recommend uh, that given all, the, fusion has all the positives of all the other energy sources and literally almost none of the negatives. And so uh, given the advances in technology, I'd recommend a further additional investment by the country into this now kind of beginning to break through area. Right, yeah, I, I agree with you. I think it has the potential to really revolutionize this space and solve a lot of these big, hairy societal problems that we've been grappling with. Um, but uh, I'd see I'm out of time. I'd, I'd ask you another follow-up question about this, but let me let it, let it suffice to just say uh, that I think it's gonna require more than just investment. We're gonna have to take a look at some of the regulatory framework that we have created to that, that's appropriate for fission, but might, might, might not be appropriate for fusion. I think we're gonna have to amend the Atomic Energy Act to try and create a framework that works yep. uh, and that really catalyzes the growth of that industry. But I wanna thank you for your testimony. Thank you to all of our witnesses. I really enjoyed the hearing today. I'll yield back.